My dear friend, who rules in your life? I had a dear man say to me one time, I don't know what's wrong, but I just don't feel God. I sometimes experience God for brief moments during a Sunday service, but I don't feel God. As I got to know this man, I saw that worry consumed him, that he spent most of his days in worry from the moment he got up till when he went to bed at night and probably had nightmares at night. He would say a quick prayer and then he'd quickly get back to worry that ruled his heart. We, if we don't feel God, basically we're not taking the time to feel God. We need to place our focus on God, not just for a few moments, but for extended periods of time every single day. The God who dwells in heaven is willing to dwell in the heart of the believer. In Exodus 20, verse 3, it says, You shall have no other gods before me. Well, who rules your heart? Is it God or is it something else? Do you give God your first consideration every moment of every day? Or is God nearer to your last consideration? It's sort of your last hope. You've done everything else you can. You've tossed and turned all night long. And now, for a brief moment, you'll turn to God. Have you offered God your heart, your soul, and your talents, and your time? Have you given God a little bit more than just an hour or two on a Sunday morning a couple times a month? In the book of Exodus, God warns that we should place no other gods before God. And yet, all too often, we place God second third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or way back there somewhere on the last burner of the stove of life. When we find ourselves making possessions or interpersonal relationships a higher priority than our loving God, it's time to seek God's love and change our ways. Does God rule your heart? Make certain that the honest answer to this question is a resounding yes. In the life of every child of God, God should come first. And make that a promise to God and to yourself. You'll find that all other things in life fall into place and in a divine order way. God bless you.